Steve Andrews is giving a voice to the voiceless and taking the powerful to task. Now, a Target 8 investigation. Four and a half months after Irma ruined his home, he remains in a hotel wondering what his insurance money paid for. A Pasco County couple's home remains without walls, ceilings, and floors months after their insurance company forked over some big bucks to a contractor hired to repair their house. Despite that payout, repair work pretty much stopped in October. You saw in the video there, just pretty much studs on the wall and fearing the worst. They contacted contacted you, Steve Andrews, our Target 8 investigator. So what's going on, Steve? Well, you know, I think they had plenty of reason to worry here. This gentleman at his insurance company handed over tens of thousands of dollars to a Pasco company that's no longer doing business. Hurricane Irma ripped off part of the roof from James Knapp's Newport Ritchie home. Rain poured in, ceilings collapsed, his home ruined. We're still in limbo. Then the real problems began. By the time they got around and issuing a check for the repair of the house, it got so moldy. I mean, every room, the sheetrock on the ceiling had to be torn down. It forced James and his wife to move to a hotel where they've sat for four and a half months. James and his insurance company hired Paul Davis Restoration of Pasco to repair the house. Walls came down, mold removed, the roof replaced. Right now, the house has been gutted and it's been sitting that way since probably halfway through October. In November, SafePoint Insurance Company issued a $63,000 check, and James threw in another ten grand for repairs. The money deposited into the Paul Davis of Pasco bank account. What I was told is after the fact that they pulled the guy's franchise. That doesn't sound good. The franchise was pulled in October. Anxious, James called repeatedly. Last week, he finally heard from Paul Davis Corporate. And I asked him, okay, what about the money that I'm missing? Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to pay that back? I got told I don't know. So he called me. I asked Paul Davis about the delay, the money, and corporate attorney Laura Ferrante wrote, we'll most definitely make this right. James wants to know when. Just where I can get out from here and get on with our lives instead of just existing in a hotel because you're definitely not living, you're just existing. This week, a company representative met with James to determine what's needed to complete the job. Now, Paul Davis Corporate told me the Paul Davis restoration of Pinellas franchise will do the work. No real explanation about this delay that's occurred since October. Yeah. What about the money? Is the, you know, Mr. Knapp was concerned about that. Is that accounted for? Well, I asked specifically about what happened to the money. And corporate told me it was not at liberty to discuss specifics because of legal issues, but added the home will be restored as quickly as possible. Now, Mr. Knapp told me he heard from Pinellas, the Pinellas franchise today, and they told him, we'll get to it probably in five to seven months. Five to oh. seven more months he's got to wait and live in it. What's he going to do? About 63000 10 of his own, you said? Is 10 of his own, $63,000. And of, of course, the insurance company's paying to keep it in a hotel to a certain point. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Follow-up coming, I'm guessing. Thank we'll you, Steve. Watching. If yeah. you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, go ahead and call him. There's the number on your screen. That's the Target 8 Helpline, 1-800-273-7825.